For this last problem here, we have, we're trying to find mx plus b. So we basically have two variables, m and b. And we're given two points. Now what we did before was we found slope and plugged in to get the y-intercept. But really we could treat this as a system of equation. So we have two points here. And before we found the slope and we you know, plugged in to get the y-intercept, we're going to do this slightly differently. We're going to use the two coordinates to generate a system of equations. So I'm going to use that coordinate y is 8, x is 1, to cut, make to generate this equation, m plus b equals 8. And as long as I have another relationship, I can solve this as a system. So my other coordinate there of 5 and 0 generates a second equation that 0 equals 5m plus b. This is a system of equations. So this is different than what we did before. Before we found the slope, we plugged, plugged in the slope into the equation and then solved for b. What we've done here is we've used the two coordinates to generate two relationships. The relationship is not with x and y, but the relationship is between m and b. And this is how m and b are related. m plus b equals 8, 5m plus b equals 0. And what I can do then is I can solve this like a system of equations. So I'm going to take my first equation. And since the b's have the same coefficient, I'm just going to subtract these two equations. And when I subtract these two equations, I come up with a new equation. 8 is equal to negative 4m. The m value works out to be negative 2. I can find my slope by, or so my y-intercept, by plugging into one of these equations. I'm going to plug it back into equation 1. Okay, plugging back into equation 1, I get 8 equals m plus b. Well, we worked out m to be negative 2. That allows us to solve for b. b is equal to positive 10. So there's my slope and y-intercept and not by finding the slope and plugging in for the y-intercept but solving this as a system of equations where we made the system the relationship between m and b came up, came up with two equations that related m and b together and then solved it as a system by eliminating one of the variables. So my equation then works out to be y equals 2x plus 10, negative 2x plus 10. And that's, this picture kind of indicates that that's, that is the case. And we can verify this by finding the slope and y-intercept the way we did in the last unit.